Well, did you know that 97 lakh people die every year of cancer? But what if I tell you that there may finally be a magic bullet against cancer? Well, hi there. You're watching Decoding Now with me, Meghna Dekha. Close to one crore, that is the number of deaths due to cancer. And that was just in one year of 2022. But is there a cure for cancer now? Well, a game-changing vaccine has now been developed and tested in Russia. And in its initial stages, Enteromix has shown very promising results. But is it more hype or is it really effective? Let's tell you what the results have shown. Well, this vaccine has been tested on 48 patients so far in Russia. The efficacy, as per the scientists who have developed it, are 100%. Tumor reduction has gone from 60 to 80 percent of reduction in tumors. And mind you, these are fast growing tumors that we are talking about. The side effects, as per the scientists, are zero. That's right. No side effects. And if at all, very minor, minimal ones. However, not much is known to the public about this vaccine. But that's exactly why we are here. We are going to tell you each and every detail which is coming out about this cancer vaccine, which is being called as groundbreaking. Is it a game changer or is it just hype? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know. Well, just to give you a quick recap. So far, what has happened in this research? Well, they've put in three years of research has been completed over this. Pre-clinical trials have also been completed. The status right now is ready to use. However, regulatory status is awaiting an approval. That means the final approval in Russia has not come in from their government so far. However, the approval is expected, as per some reports, around mid-2026 in Russia. But what next for this magic vaccine? Well, clinical trials. That's going to be the next step. But that is only expected around the third quarter in 2026. Now, Enteromix is a breakthrough that is already showing incredible promise as per the researchers, and it could possibly impact multiple types of cancer. What really can it cure? Let's tell you what it means for millions of lives worldwide. Because it's possible, as per the initial reports, for it to cure the colorectal cancer, which is the cancer in the colon or the rectum area. When specifically this vaccine was administered to those people having this specific type of cancer, they said that the tumors started shrinking 60 to 80 percent. But there are also other vaccines that the same researchers are also looking at, additional vaccines, which may just cure glioblastoma, which is essentially brain cancer. The research currently is underway. This is an additional vaccine which is also being developed. They're also developing another vaccine, and this is going to be an interesting one, for melanoma, which is skin cancer, a very prevalent one and something which is also very fast moving. The research currently is underway. Additional vaccine is also being developed. So right now you have the preclinical trials which have happened for one type of cancer, but they are also hoping that they can use this as a roadmap to build vaccines for other type of cancers as well. But unlike the traditional treatments, this vaccine is designed to specifically target three major types of cancer, as I was just telling you. But interestingly, it is highly customized. Importantly, all three of these cancers are widely prevalent across the globe. And this affects millions of people every year. Just take a look at these statistics. About 19 lakh cases come in every year of just cancer. 9 to 10 percent of all of this are cancer cases which are new and not ongoing. 30 lakh cases have been projected annually by the year 2040. So what do we know about this? This is glioblastoma cancer, which affects about 1.4 lakh cases every year. Imagine some of these lakhs can be saved with this new cancer. Well, it accounts for about 40% of all the brain tumor cases which are being reported every year. Let's tell you a bit about the melanoma cancer. They are looking for a vaccine to cure melanoma cancer as well. And this is something which impacts about 3.3 lakh cases every year coming up. 
about 2.2 percent of the people are at risk to developing cancer during their lifetime which is why it's important that on war footing we look for a cure for cancer but one important detail specifically for those who are not blessed with wealth but unfortunately cursed with cancer is how much will this vaccine cost well there is no official word on that so far but unconfirmed reports are already making the rounds as to how much it may just cost of course in russia for all the citizens it's going to be free if it does pass the clinical trial stage well what we are picking up from sources that it will cost around 3 lakh rubles in russia but what does it mean in dollars it means 2869 us dollars but if you convert it into rupees it comes to about 2 lakh 52550 rupees and this is very interesting because this is an estimation per dose but people who undergo cancer treatment in india pay much much more than this amount but is this truly a game changer or will it be another headline? Well, there are important questions that still need to be answered. Questions that could make all the difference. Let's break down the facts, the doubts and what's next in the journey of this cancer vaccine. The sample size in this research has been 48 in the pre-trial stages. Now, the problem with that, that many people in the scientific community are saying, is that it is too small to generalize as to what the impact of this cancer is going to be on the global stage. The second thing, this trial evaluates safety and tolerability of the vaccine of the people who have undergone these trials. The problem with that, however, is that the long-term outcome is still untested. What will be the long-term impact? We still don't know. Also, the comparative efficacy is unknown right now. It's too early. The progression-free survival rate, whether or not it progresses after this, or will it survive? We are not quite sure about that because long-term research has not happened on this specific cancer vaccine. Third thing, there has been so far no peer-reviewed publication so far. The problem with that, as the scientific community says, is that other scientists are yet to see the raw data so that they can themselves figure out whether or not it's going to be a success. But before that, it is important to understand the difference between this cancer vaccine and other methods that help cure cancer, which we are doing right now and which are available right now. For example, chemotherapy. Let's start with that. Now, the difference between chemotherapy and enteromix vaccine, that's what we are going to explain to you. In chemotherapy, this therapy attacks cancer cells, but also the healthy cells in your body, which is why you have so many side effects to it. But when it comes to enteromix vaccine, it is going to recognize and specifically target and attack and kill only the cancer cells, not the healthy cells. In chemotherapy, it's a one size fits most for all the cancers. When it comes to enteromix, it is going to be customized for each and every tumor mutation, cancer by cancer, stage by stage, and patient by patient. Chemotherapy, after all, gives drugs which are circulated all throughout your body during the therapy. When it comes to enteromix, well, there is going to be the use of artificial intelligence. Yes, AI is actually going to personalize the vaccine for each and every patient. And this time frame required for that, guess what? Only 30 to 60 minutes for AI to personalize a vaccine for a specific patient. Well, in chemotherapy, there is, of course, as everyone knows, hair loss, nausea, very low immunity, which leads to innumerable infections as well. Enteromix. As per the researchers, they say that it's mostly fever and a little bit of fatigue, but that's it. No other side effects have been detected. So is this going to be something which lives up to the hype of being groundbreaking when it comes to the cure of cancer, or is it merely going to be headlines? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Just to quickly remind you, the timelines are such that right now it is yet to be approved by the Russian government. That is expected sometime next year, after which the clinical trials will begin. And finally, we expect that it may come, if it is successful, to the rest of the world. 
But we'll have to wait and see the efficacy. Will it live up to the name? Well, we are going to keep our fingers crossed on that. Well, that's all for me here on Decoding Now. But do tell us on the comment section what else you want decoded.